Hello my dear students, how are you? In today's lecture, we will study Synthesis of aldehyde by Rosenwood reduction reactions What is the fundamental of Rosenwood reduction reactions? Then acid chloride can be converted into Corresponding aldehyde by using a Rosenwood reduction reactions So in Rosenwood reduction reactions Whatever acid chloride we have taken this acid chloride reduction done by using a catalyst known as a palladium. Now palladium is supported over barium sulfate. So now palladium supported over barium sulfate reduction done by us. Then chlorine combined with hydrogen it removes in the form of HCl. And as a result we will get a aldehyde. So by using this Rosenwood reduction reactions, aldehyde can be obtained. Now suppose, if we use only palladium, then whatever aldehyde obtained, it will be further reduced into primary alcohol. But here, we have to use palladium over barium sulphate. So in barium sulphate, sulphur will act as a catalytical poison. So it will be, sulphur will deactivate palladium and therefore further reduction of aldehyde will not occur. So here, sulfur play an important role. Now approximate temperature we are using a 140 degree Celsius. So we have to write important thing, ketone cannot be prepared. Ketone cannot be prepared. So by using Rosenwood reduction reaction, ketone cannot be prepared. Similarly, here we cannot prepare, we cannot prepare formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is not possible to prepare by using this method. Why formaldehyde cannot be prepared? Then formyl chloride is unstable. If we want to prepare formaldehyde, then here we have to use a formyl chloride. When we are using formyl chloride, it is highly unstable. So formaldehyde cannot be prepared. This two limitation of Rosenwood reduction reaction, first, we cannot prepare ketone by using this method. Second, formaldehyde cannot be prepared because formal chloride is unstable. So now, let's discuss variety of example. Suppose I have taken this compound. Now, what is IUPAC name of this compound? Ethanol chloride. Common name is acetyl chloride. Now, acetyl chloride Reduction done by using palladium or barium sulfate. Now what will be the product? Just I will inform you, chlorine will remove and hydrogen will enter. So this structure giving us CH3C double bond O H. What is name of this structure? Now suppose we have acetyl chloride and reduction done, then we get this structure, it is known as a ethanol. Similarly, we can prepare variety of other, suppose we have taken a propanoyl chloride. If propanoyl chloride taken by us, then what will be the product? Just you write by yourself before me. Now reduction done by using same method, palladium over barium sulphate. Same method, no any change, hydrochloric acid will remove. Chlorine combined with hydrogen, remove in the form of HCl and as a result we will get this structure CH3CH2C double bond O H. So this structure is known as a propanol. Now suppose by using this Rosenwood reduction reaction one can prepare one can prepare aromatic aldehyde also. Suppose we have this structure. Now give me what is name of this structure? It is known as a Benzoyl chloride. Now, whatever benzoyl chloride we have, reduction done by using same method, palladium over barium sulfate. Then, same way, hydrochloric acid will be byproduct, chlorine will be substituted by hydrogen. And as a result, we will get this structure, benzene ring CHO. So, this structure is known as a benzaldehyde. So, by using this Rosenwood reduction reaction, 
by using this Rosenwood reduction reaction, we can prepare aromatic aldehyde. In today's lecture, we will discuss synthesis of aldehyde by using a Stefan reactions. Now, what is the fundamental of Stefan reaction? The Stefan reaction is used to convert cyanide compound into aldehyde by partial reduction by using a catalyst essential to tin chloride and acidic medium then we have to do it hydrolysis so this reaction is known as a Stefan reaction so in short by using a Stefan reaction whatever cyanide compound we have the cyanide compound can be converted into aldehyde compound now this reaction done in two step in first step by using SNCl2 and HCl reduction done by us in second step we will perform hydrolysis so we will get the final product will be a aldehyde so aldehyde can be obtained by using this method now by using this reagent SNCl2 and HCl just we will get a SNCl4 and hydrogen this now this hydrogen will do partial reductions so kya hoga ki jo cyanide hai carbon nitrogen triple bond hai it reduction will done partial breaking of this bond occur in the presence of reducing agent the pi bond break hoga out of this two pi bond one pi bond will break one hydrogen added on carbon one hydrogen added on nitrogen so now as a result we will get this type of structure RCH double bond NH now whatever structure you know very well that electronegativity of nitrogen is more and carbon is less so nitrogen having a partial negative charge carbon having a partial positive charge now further hydrolysis in the presence of acidic medium now water will give us two type of ion H plus and OH minus so now hydroxyl group will attach with H will be added on a nitrogen and OH will be added on carbon so now this both bond break just we get this structure R C H here OH here OH and with this we will get a NH3 now from here during this hydrolysis process from here elimination of water occur and water will eliminate as a result we will get this RC double bond of H it means aldehyde will be obtained now our medium is acidic so whatever ammonia obtained to us this ammonia react with the HCl and reaction of ammonia with HCl just you know it give us ammonium chloride so ammonium chloride will be obtained as a byproduct so once again cyanide ke carbon nitrogen double bond hai so usme se during reduction reactions hydrogen will eliminate this hydrogen will be added on carbon and nitrogen pi bond break hoga ek hydrogen carbon pe add hoga ek hydrogen nitrogen pe add hoga so we get rch double bond nh now in second step after partial reduction partial reduction is the most important word 100% reduction is not done by us now further during hydrolysis reaction this carbon nitrogen bond will break electronegativity of nitrogen is more so it has a negative charge this hydrogen will be added on nitrogen so it will remove in the form of NH3 OH of water will be added on carbon and from this elimination of water occur and we get a aldehyde ammonia in acidic medium will convert it into ammonium chloride so in this way by using Stefan reaction aldehyde will be obtained from cyanide so now just let's discuss ab aapko mein do teen example deta hu just you try to predict what will be the final product name of this compound is methyl cyanide so now cyanide will convert it into aldehyde so we get this structure ch3 c double bond of h so this methyl cyanide is converted into ethanol so aldehyde will be obtained now same as another example i have ch3 ch2 cn now you can see name of this structure is propane natrile and common name is ethyl cyanide 
Suppose if sulfur cyanide is taken by us and same way stiffer reactions reagent essential to in HCl and then after hydrolysis in presence of acidic medium then it give us then it give us this structure CH3 CH2 C double bond O H so three carbon so this structure giving us propanal so propanal will be obtained similarly suppose we have aromatic compound suppose we have aromatic compound phenyl cyanide then same method used by us essential to in hcl and hydrolysis in acidic medium then same way cyanide group will converted into aldehyde group so phenyl cyanide will converted into benzaldehyde so by using the stiffen reaction aldehyde can be prepared but ketone cannot be prepared all the best see you in next lecture